Hey everyone, it's Siobhan here. So today I am doing another tag video. This one is called The Hunger Games Tag, and uh, I didn't even know it existed until a subscriber left a comment under my previous tag video. And it just seems so cool. I'm a huge fan of the books now, and I'm looking forward to the film. I've already got my premiere night ticket with my best friend and her boyfriend, so uh, yeah, I figured I would give this tag a go. And uh, I've got my, my cell phone here, and um, got all the questions. There seems to be 12 of them, so I'm just going to answer them as quickly as I can. Question 1. What is your favorite book in the Hunger Games trilogy? That's really easy. It's the first one. I love all three, but the first one was so amazing. Um, I think it's because this concept of like fighting to the death is not a new or an old one, but um, there's such a twist on it with the children being the ones that fought to the death. And uh, yeah, I just it was very different from things that I've read, and uh, I really, really enjoyed it. And it was so well written too. Question two: How long would you last in the Hunger Games? Um, I don't want to say that I'd be like the winner because um, I think that you can only answer this question if you know who your opponents are. Uh, I probably would be one of the last few though because I don't have a problem with the whole um, killing thing if it's me or them. And I, I fight dirty, so I would probably be up in trees like Rue or using camouflage like PETA and then I just kind of come out and attack you when you least expect it. I think that would be my strategy. But um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Wow, I probably sound like a psycho. Question three, what is the strangest thing you thought was going to happen in the books? I don't know. Um, as much as I liked the story, I kind of felt like it was predictable. <laughs> like I sort of knew where it was going to go. And uh, the whole story is really strange. Like the whole concept of like the Hunger Games is really strange. I guess if I was going to answer this, I thought like the capital was strange. Like their, their sense of fashion, their rules, their morals. Um, I don't know. It just, that was all pretty bizarre. But uh, yeah, that's kind of the best answer I can give to that question, I don't really know. Question 4. How were you introduced to The Hunger Games? Well, two ways. Um, about a year ago, one of my best friends, Sabrina, was actually talking to me about these books. And um, she loves to read, but she doesn't usually read like teenage sort of stuff, novels or whatever, and she said, I was surprised at how much I liked them, how they're super easy to read, you'll get through them really quickly. And um, it just, I was kind of in the middle of other things and I didn't really pay attention too much to what she was saying and I should have. I should have read them a long time ago because I love them. But um, the second person that mentioned them to me was Heather, um, Torin Page. She kind of wrote about it on my Facebook page and I was like, you know what? This is the second time I'm going to read them and find out what this is all about and I'm so glad that I did. Question six, who is your favorite character? That is super easy, it's Katniss. Um, she kind of embodies everything that I look for or admire in other women. Um, I know I've said that once before, but um, it's really true. She's, she's strong and brave, she can isolate her feelings and put them to the side so that she uses her brain instead of her heart, and I appreciate that. Um, she's rational, but she's passionate, she's a bunch of things. Um, I really love Peta though. He's, he's great. And I do like Gail too. I was really into this love triangle thing going on. So much more interesting than... I did read the Twilight books, you know, the whole Edward Jacob Bella thing that is like so, so stupid and boring compared to this. And um, yeah, I like them all, but Katniss for sure is my favorite. Question 7. What district would you live in? I don't know. Probably, um, Phoenix, uh, district. The water district, the fishers, the fishermen <laughs> districts. Um, I love to swim. I'm, I have a, a thing for water. I need to live in a place where there is water. I'd be very unhappy if I lived, like, in the center of our country, because I need to be by an ocean. And, um, I don't know, I just kind of relate to that, so... I'm not sure what district that is now that I think of it. Um, is that four? District four? Is he district four? I can't remember. Phoenix district though, like the whole fisherman thing really appeals to me. 
Question eight, what is the most emotional moment in the books for you? Um, probably when Prim dies or is murdered. Um, I really didn't see that coming, actually. <laughs> that was like the only thing that I didn't see coming. And uh, yeah, it just seemed so unnecessary to me also. Like, you know, the story could have ended in the same way and uh, yeah, it just sucked. Like the whole, that, that sucked. And then the chapters afterwards where she like loses her mind, that really upset me. So I guess I would say that's the most emotional part of the series for me. Question nine, what item from home would you take into the arena with you? Um, well, I could think of a number of things, but obviously they're not practical because you need your arms, your legs, you don't want to be carrying a bunch of stuff. Um, you need to run really fast. I would probably have a picture of my daughter, maybe. Um, but if I was in the Hunger Games, I would be between the ages of 12 and 18, so I'm trying to imagine myself during that time. And I didn't have a daughter back then, so still I think it would be a picture of like my mother or my father and brother. Yeah, so a picture of family, maybe, just to kind of keep me going. <laughs> to remind me that like there are people rooting for me. Question 10. What was the most evil plan someone made in the books? Again, I'm going to go back to Prim and say when President Coyne sort of authorized um, the murder of all those capital children and Prim was kind of caught in that, I think that's pretty awful. Um, but it does keep in theme with the book, you know, The Hunger Games is about a bunch of kids killing each other and so then the capital kills more kids, or not the capital, but the rebels kill more kids at the end. Um, so yeah, that just kind of kept in theme, although for whatever reason it kind of struck me as being like, ugh, ugh, horrible. Question 11. What are you looking forward to most in the film? Um, a few things. I'm looking forward to seeing the hair and the makeup and the costumes that they put on the actors playing the capital people or capital citizens. Um, I'm really excited about Jennifer Lawrence playing Katniss because she kind of looks how I imagined her in my mind. And the same with the actors playing Gail and Peta, they just kind of look like those um, characters that I envisioned while I was reading this. They're just perfect. They match up with my brain. Um, <laughs> I'm a little bit disappointed that the film is going to be PG-13. Um, I know that it's a teen audience and that these books were directed towards a teen audience and I thought that was weird too when I was reading them just because it's such a violent story. Like it's so adult in so many ways. But um, yeah, whenever I envision like fights to the death, I think like in film or television or whatever, I think of scenes from like Gladiator, you know, the Russell Crowe film, which is another movie that I absolutely love. And um, I imagine like really big men fighting each other. And there's something about children fighting each other to the death that like really freaks me out. Like, I don't know, it's just like, it's so horrible. And um, I was disappointed when I found out that the film was going to be PG-13 because I figured that they're going to tone the violence down to get that rating, whereas it really should have been a rated R movie. And um, I'm worried that they're not going to convey the same kind of violence that was in the novels in the film. I don't know. So um, I am looking forward to seeing that. I'm also a little freaked out at the idea of seeing kids fighting kids to the death. Uh, yeah. So I guess that in general, but just to see like my imagination or everything that like I imagined as I was reading them, like brought to a big screen in HD, <laughs> um, that's really cool. So yeah, that's what I'm looking forward to. Question 12. I don't know why I did that. Question 12. Um, <laughs> it's the bonus question. Not sure why it's called that. Um, who is your favorite villain in the Hunger Games trilogy? And right off the bat, I will say that the first two that come to mind, obviously, President Snow, President Coin, which one is worse? Um, it's funny because even though I disliked both of these characters and I realized that they posed a huge threat to this entire world that I was reading about, I didn't hate either of them. Um, I think what frustrated me the most in general was just like the idea of the capital and like all these other districts that 
were living around it, but had no say in their government, no say in like how their children were being raised or the fact that they were being forced to fight to the death, um, that all this propaganda was pushed onto them, that they didn't even have control of the things that they made in each of their districts, because I know that it was all different for each one, like 12, for instance, was coal. So um, I guess that plus the fact that everybody was so poor and um, the theme of poverty, especially in District 12, because that's the one that we read about a lot in these books, um, yeah, just the theme of poverty was the most exasperating, frustrating thing for me. Um, and it was so relatable too because I live in New York City and uh, I've had moments of not having any money at all and having to decide whether I'm going to buy groceries or I'm going to do my laundry at the laundromat down the corner. And then I would decide to buy food and I'd have to wash my, hand, my clothes by hand in the tub. So I've had those like poor moments <laughs> and I guess that was the most frustrating thing too for me and uh, it was just a coincidence that I happened to read these books at the same time that like the Occupy movement was going on in New York or is going on in New York and um, it was like the 1% and the 99% come to life in these fictional futuristic sort of sci-fi violent novels and um, the theme of rich and poor like it just always drives me insane like um, yeah, it's that in and of itself, like, just makes me nuts. So I guess if I had to pick one thing or one villain, like, that I hated, it was the poverty that you just kept reading about over and over and over again. And, um, like, the lack of freedom and, yeah. <laughs> Not one particular character, just, like, this continuing theme. And, uh, that's the end of my tag. <laughs> Next video is definitely going to be a hair video. I'm sorry that you've gotten two tags in a row. But um, this was really cool. So, like, actually, I'm not that sorry because I enjoyed doing it. But, um, <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll see you all later. I hope you guys do the tag. Um, not going to tag anyone in particular. I tag all of you. So, uh, yeah. Bye. <laughs>